Okay, now we're going to be checking your problem set. First problem. Fill in the table and then round to the given place. Label the number lines to show your work. Circle the rounded number. Okay, so I've already done most of it for you and including the first question, which is rounding to the nearest hundred. So I filled it in your chart. The first thing you want to do is put three ones and one tenth. Then you want to move to 31 tenths, and then you want to move into 310 tenths. Now remember, those are all referring to the same number. For the hundredths line, you can already see that I have set up the number at the top and the number at the bottom. You can see that I have pulled the number at the bottom from the hundredths chart. So 310 hundredths is equal to 3.10. And then at the top, I've put 311 hundredths, 3.11. In the middle, your midpoint is 3.105, or 3 and 105 thousandths. That's exactly in between 3 and, 3 and 11 hundredths and 3 and 10 hundredths. Okay, you can see in orange that I have put the number on the number line, which happens to also be the number at the bottom. So the number that it rounds to is 3 and 10 hundredths. Okay, now we're looking at the tenths line. You can see that I have pulled 31 from our place value chart. 31 tenths is equal to 3.1. I'm putting 32 tenths at the top. That's equal to 3.2. We know our number will fit in between those two numbers when we are talking about tenths. Now let's do the midpoint. The midpoint is 3.15. And once again, our number is the same as the number at the bottom, which is 3.1, or 3 and 1 tenth. So the nearest tenth would be 3 and 1 tenth. Now we're looking at the tens line. We know our number will fit in between 1 ten, which is equal to 10, and 0 tens, which is 0. You also know that your midpoint between 10 and 0 is going to be 5. And our number fits right about there. 3 and 1 tenth. So now let's see which number it will round, which 10 it will round to. It will round down to 0 tenths or 0. Okay, now we're on to problem 2. We're going to be doing the same thing but with a number 115 and 376 thousandths. I've already filled in our place value chart. Now, as you can see, they didn't give us a hundreds, pla a hundreds place on the chart. So I had to put in 11 tenths, 5 ones, 3 tenths, and 7 hundredths, and 6 thousandths. I continued on to do 115 ones, 3 tenths, 7 hundredths, and 6 thousandths. Now you have a 1,153 tenths, 7 hundredths, and 6 thousandths. Finally, you have 11,537 hundredths and 6 thousandths. Remember, doing this helps you set up your vertical number lines. That's why we do the place value chart. Okay, first up, they want us to round to the nearest hundred. So as you can see, I pulled the hundredths from the place value chart and put it at the bottom of the number line for 1,537 hundredths, which is the same thing as 115.37. At the top, I'm putting 11,538 hundredths, which is the same as 115.38. Now we need to find the midpoint. The midpoint is 115 and 375 thousandths. That's exactly in between. Now it's time for us to put our number on this vertical number line. As you can see, the number fits right above our midpoint. 115.376. So now we're going to figure out which hundredth we should round to. We're rounding up. You can see from the number line that the closest hundredth to our number is 115 and 38 hundredths. Okay, now we're looking at ones. So go ahead and look at the ones 
on our place value, and you can already see that I put in 115 moles at the bottom of the vertical number line, which is the same as 115. Okay, now you put what's supposed to be at the top. Oh, there's a little error there. Sorry about that. It should be 116 ones, which is equal to 116. Let's find the midpoint. That's right, 115 and 5 tenths would be the midpoint between 116 and 115. Now we're going to put our number on the number line in orange. Okay, it fits in between 115.5 and 115. So now we're going to figure out where we're going to round to. You're rounding down. You can see on the vertical number line that the closest one to our number is the one on the bottom, which is 115. All right, let's move on to tens. According to our place value chart, we have 11 tens, which is the same as 110. We know our number will be fitting on the number line, so at the top, there should be 12 tens which is 120. Now let's find the midpoint. Oh, just an arrow reminding you that I pulled out 11 from our place value chart. Our midpoint is 115. Now let's put our number. There it is, right there, right above 115. So right above our midpoint. Which means it's going to be rounding up to 120. Alright, number 3. 994 thousandths. I've already put it in the place value chart. Now I have a 99 hundredths and 4 thousandths and finally 994 thousandths. And we're going to be rounding to the hundredths, tenths, ones, ones and tens. Let's start with hundredths. So according to our place value chart, we have 99 hundredths. So I put 99 hundredths at the bottom of my vertical number line. At the top, I put 100 hundredths, which is the same as saying 1, or 1.00. I would include the decimals. It'll help you see. The midpoint is 99 hundredths plus 5 thousandths, which is the same as 0 0.995. Now we're going to be putting our number on that number line. 0 0.994. So what do you think we'll be rounding to? That's right, you're rounding, rounding to 99 hundredths. Now we're looking at tenths. So go ahead and look at the value of how many tenths we have on our place value chart. We have nine tenths at the bottom of the vertical line. At the top, you're going to be putting 10 tenths, which is the same as one, but for this case, you need to put 1.0. It'll help you see what you need to round to. The midpoint is 0 0.95, or 9 tenths and 5 hundredths. Now you can see that I've put our number on the number line. It is closest to 1.0, or 1. I know this because I looked at the hundredths value, because the tenths value is the same. And the midpoint has a 5 in the hundredths, and our number has a 9 in the hundredths, which means it's going to be rounding up to 1. Okay, continuing on to rounding to the nearest 1. So we have 0 1's at the bottom of the vertical line and 1 1, which is equal to 1 at the top of that vertical number line. In the middle, there's 5 tenths. That's halfway in between 1 and 0. Now I've put our number in. What do you think it's going to be rounding to? That's right, it's rounding up to one. All right, now we're taking our same number and rounding to the nearest 10. We know it's going to be either between zero and 10. Now you probably already have a feeling what it's going to be rounding to, but bear with me and do the work. This will help you later on when you do your exit ticket and when you take your mid unit exam. So five ones. Our 5 is the midpoint, and there is our number, 0 0.994, and you can see that it's closest to 0 tens. Okay, before doing 4, I would do 5, but it's up to you. For open international competition, 
The throwing circle in the men's shot put must have a diameter of 2 and 135 thousandths meters. Round this number to the nearest hundredth. Use a number line to show your work. So we're rounding the number to the nearest hundredth and we need to use a vertical number line. So here's your vertical number line. And here's the number we're working with, two and 135 thousandths. And I've underlined the hundredth place value, which is a three. And I've also underlined the thousandths, just so you're aware. So at the bottom, I put 213 hundredths, which is equal to 2.13. At the top, I'm putting 214 hundredths, which is 2.14. Now I'm going to find the midpoint, which is 213 hundredths and 5 thousandths, or 2.135. Mm, that number looks kind of familiar, right? That's right, it's the same number that we're working with from the problem. So what are you going to round it to? Remember what we talked about a few times during this lesson? you always round to the greater number. So with that said, we're rounding up to two and 14 hundredths. Let's look at problem five. Jen's pedometer said she walked two and 549 thousandths of miles. She rounded her distance to three miles. Her brother rounded her distance to 2.5 miles. When they argued about it, their mom said they were both right. Explain how that could be true. Use number lines and words to explain your reasoning. Okay, we've looked at the problem. Now let's underline what's important. So I've underlined that Jen walked 2.549 miles and that she rounded her distance to three miles, which is to the nearest one. Her brother rounded it to 2.5, which is to the nearest what? That's right, he rounded to the nearest tenth. All right, let's make two vertical number lines, one for Jen and one for her brother. Because remember, we're trying to explain that they're both right. Let's look at Jen. She used ones. So we already know that she rounded to the nearest one of three, which is three ones. So at the bottom of the vertical number line, I put two ones, which is equal to two. I know that 2.549 miles are going to fit in between those two ones. Now let's find the midpoint. 2.5, which is two, two ones plus five tenths. Now I'm going to put the actual exact distance that Jen, that Jen walked, which is 2.549. And she was correct you do need to round up to three. Now let's look at her brother. He used his number line, or he used his knowledge to round to the nearest tenth. So first I put what he rounded to, which is 2.5 miles, or 25 tenths. Now looking at the number, I know that's going to be between 2.5 and 2.6. So at the top, I put 26 tenths, or 2.6. Now I'm going to put my midpoint, 2.55, which is 25 tenths plus 5 hundredths. That's right in between both 2.6 and 2.5. Now I'm going to put the distance that Jen walked, which is 2.549 miles. Now I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. The nearest tenth, as you can see from the number line, is 2.5. So Jen's brother was also correct. Now you need to write out your answer using your words. So Jen rounded to the nearest one mile. Her brother rounded to the nearest tenth of a mile. Are both correct? Yes, both are correct, which we proved using the vertical number lines.